Hey guys, what's going on? Today we are fishing the inlet because right now the mullet run is going on. In the last couple days, this inlet has been absolutely insane with mullet, tarpon blowing them up, snook, jacks, ladyfish, bluefish. Absolutely insane. So hopefully we get on some fish today. Stay tuned. Oh, you got him. Uh -oh. I say we got a few. We need Definitely to got a few. I got the lid. Every year, fishermen up and down the Florida coast wait patiently for what some call the most wonderful time of the year. No, it's not Christmas. No, it's not pumpkin spice latte time. It's the mullet run. Every fall, when the weather starts to cool down, the mullets start to head south from the Carolinas down the coast towards warmer water. Seems weird to say when the weather starts to cool down, considering we're still hitting the upper 90 degrees. But believe it or not, the water temps are lowering, which has triggered schools of mullet to start heading our way. If you are an avid mullet run fisherman, you've been scouring the beaches the last couple weeks, stalking social media, or waiting for your buddies to send you that text that says, they are here. Well, if you hadn't heard yet, let me be the first to tell you, they are here. There's nothing like taking a drive to the beach, walking out past the sea oats, seeing that first glimpse of the ocean, and looking out at a giant black mass of mullet right on the shore. If that didn't get you excited, what about looking out to catch a glimpse of a hundred pound tarpon skying completely out of the water and showering mullet? Or a snook parting a school of mullet like the Red Sea? Jack Craval's schooling up and scaring a pot of mullet up onto the beach. Black tip sharks riding waves just feet off the shore chasing these silver bait fish. As well as bluefish, ladyfish, and mackerel joining in on the endless buffet. Let's just say it's one of the best fishing experiences you can have without needing a boat. Like I was saying, the inlet was insane the day before, so we headed back again today. We casted some mullet and fished there for a few hours, and it was nothing like the day before. It's incredible how one spot can be epic one day and almost nothing the next. But these fish are constantly moving, and you have to be ready to travel to find the fish schools. So we packed up and headed further south. When we showed up to this next spot, the beach was covered in mullet and tarpon were blowing them up.
Jackie? Well, this is what we're working with. Brooke, show us your hoagie. That is the sign of bluefish, which we're not looking for. Now, I love to throw an artificial swim bait. I've had a lot of luck with them, and it's always easy to tie on a lure and start casting versus trying to get a live bait. I cast it a few times and ended up with my tail bit off my hoagie lure. Bluefish can be fun to catch, but not when you're trying to catch a tarpon. You can go through hundreds of dollars of lures throwing into a mullet school if there are toothy bluefish around. Oh my gosh, get it in, get it in, get it in. That's a big, yes, that's a little bluefish. Yeah, that's a baby. Now this year's mullet run has been affected with some big swells making it hard to fish the beach. But I've fished a few days and I'll be honest, I don't have much to show for it. Sometimes you go out and cast a hundred times and don't catch anything. But just being out there to witness this is beyond amazing. It's like watching National Geographic or Blue Planet in your own backyard. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this epic footage and I will see you in the next video.